just if you have failed your FE exam before, just think about this. You know, 10 years from now, when you have your PE and you're doing great in your career, you look back, right? Uh, when you failed, like it's not going to make that much difference, right? But what's going to make a difference, the fact that you got up again, you kept going and you passed it. And and that just, you know, to, you know, when we fail, we we learn so much from from the failure and and we grow as a person we you know there's there's so much growth and and opportunity to learn and um and so you know this is going to be it's a challenge right now but it's going to help you become a better person and just help you understand more about how you you study how you learn and that's going to help you to even pass your PE faster, right? So it's just a setback, guys. When you fail, it's just a setback, right? Don't give up. Just keep going. Um, learn from it. Like I said yesterday, learn from your mistakes. Uh, come up with a new plan. Come up with a new process. Don't get disappointed, right? Be patient. Be kind to yourself. You're doing the best you can. You you know, you, you probably work full-time. You have a lot going on in your life. You're showing up and you're doing the best you can. So make sure you... you you know, you know that and just keep going, keep studying and you guys will get there. All right, guys. You know, guys, something I've noticed with a lot of engineers is that I, I think this is a common thing where people want to take their FE, they want to prepare for it, right? But they often find themselves, they don't have the time to do it. And, and because of so many reasons, right? There's work, there's, you know, life gets busy. If you have family, you have kids. I know so many, I know many of you guys have kids. Um, and so that could be really tricky to study for the FE. And the other thing as well is that a lot of like the engineers, so when, when, you, were, when you are working at a workplace, right? A lot of times you would hear uh, your boss saying, oh, it's easy. You should just pass it, right? I just used this book and I passed it. I did this and it was, you know, I, I didn't have to, st I studied for like a week and I, I did it. And and the thing is, they don't know, they don't understand that the FE exam has been changing and it has been getting harder since they took it, right? I mean, just like if you just look at 2012 or 20, even 2017, right? It's it's completely different exam. Now it's getting harder. They're asking more difficult questions. They're asking like questions uh, that are practical, where it's like you have to have experience in the industry. Um, and then they also ask a lot of conceptual questions. And so so it's it's a lot harder. And so it's and so it can get tricky because then your boss might not understand what you're going through, but then they also uh, you have to work a lot and then you don't, you find yourself, you don't have the time to study. And then also you don't want to really ask your boss for time to study because then, you know, he just told you that it's easy. You should be able to do it. And so you feel a little bit weird about that. And you're like, oh, if it's easy, how come I'm struggling? And so there's so much uh, that, that, that goes in, into it. So my recommendation is, um, it is, it is difficult. So just know that, acknowledge that it's very important to know that you guys are not alone right um and it is becoming more and more difficult and my my advice to you guys is just try to block even just an hour a day could really be a game changer right it's about the small steps that you take every day and those small steps will add up every day and then one day you'll find yourself wow i learned all this material and i'm getting ready and closer to passing the fe i remember i had this student jacqueline who she really couldn't study more than I believe two hours a day and during the weekend she just couldn't study she was a single mom she has two kids and she and she was working full-time and so that's all she could do is two hours every day and she couldn't study at all during the weekend and so what she did instead of trying to cram her studying and and just push herself and do it in three months she spread it out over six months and so she did two hours every day and she didn't study during the weekend she focused on learning she showed up every day the thing is she used to actually wake up at 4 a.m she would study before her kids would get wake up and then after that she, she had to go to work so she would study she would wake up at four study two hours go to work and then and then family responsibilities and all that and then she would repeat the next day and it works for her so six months later she passed her fe and so you have to figure out what's that schedule for you you can't keep postponing it because the more you postpone it the less you're going to excel in your career and then there's job opportunities that you're missing because of it and so at some point you got to be like no 
right? Or maybe have that conversation with your boss or if you, because again, the other thing as well is that a lot of students don't really want to share at work that they're studying for the FE because that adds more pressure because then now if you fail, you know, you have to have that conversation with your boss and colleagues that you didn't make it, right? And so a lot of students, they like to keep it to themselves. And if that is the case, just try to, to, either create some boundaries and just stop work during a certain time or you know just try to carve out time at least an hour guys at least an hour a day every day and during the weekend if if you don't have a lot of responsibilities take advantage of it and study for at least you know four to five hours and if you do that for the next five six months or four months depends how much you can study during the week you could get really close to passing your FE and even if you do take it let's say you take your FE and you don't pass just look for progress guys something I always try to tell you like when you fail the FE exam don't look at it as like like a failure right it's it's a setback right but just look at it learn from it what what can you do differently this time to make sure that you succeed next time and just look at look at it from that perspective not necessarily from from as, as like you failed something, right? Because, you know, for me, failure is if you give up, right? So, and, and I know the, uh, the other thing as well, I know a lot of people couldn't pass this exam and they just gave up. They gave up over the years, right? And so for you, like, you know, as long as you guys are, you keep showing up, you keep trying, you keep doing the best you can, you haven't failed yet, right? Because you're still here. You still really want to make this happen. So just keep going, keep studying, and you guys will get there. When I started this, my, my business and these courses, I started to talk to a lot of students who are going through the FE and trying to study for the FE to understand what they struggle with, right? And a lot of times I got people just struggling with motivation. And in fact, I started to do research and I read this book that's called Motivation is a Myth. And it, it was an awesome book. I really liked it. Helped me too with my motivation. Um, and so, you know, a lot of the things that that book mentioned, and, and I'll just... Uh, just uh, summarize it for you guys here just so you have it with you so like I said earlier motivation is not something that you just have or you're born with or some people have it and then you don't but it's just something that you get by taking action right so that's the first step you just you just start you take action you just start and that's why we did we did these lives now the tricky part is and I think that's the one that a lot of people struggle with is that how do you have a lasting motivation right because having motivation today easy having motivation tomorrow easy right having motivation a month from now that could be a struggle right and then if you're going to be studying for like five months six months depend on your study plan you could start losing motivation slowly slowly and I'm sure a lot of you guys that's how it started you start strong you start studying and then slowly you start losing that motivation and then before you know it, you postpone your exam, uh, you go like, uh, I'll do it another time, another year, you kept pushing it, kept pushing it, 2023, you found yourself, you haven't passed the FE, right? You get the whole picture. So then the, you have, what you have to really focus on is how do you have, how to make sure that you have a lasting motivation till you pass your FE exam in 2023, right? That's the goal. That's what we want to do. We want to make sure that all of you guys pass your FE exam this year, right? If that's your goal, and I'm seeing a lot of you guys do want to pass your FE this year. So how do we make that happen, right? So then the next thing is you have to have a plan, right? You have to have a process and you have to forget about the goal. So this is something I always say, don't focus on the goal because here's the thing. Yes, you want to pass your FE. I get it, right? But imagine you're in math, you just started, you're studying math, and then you remind yourself that I need to pass the FE, right? And you have 14 different subjects that you still have to go through and study. Imagine you're going to lose motivation right away, right? Because you're very far away from that goal versus if you have a plan, right? And you have a to-do list today, I need to study, I need to do five math problems and you do them, you're going to feel good about it. You're going to go, okay. So you just focus on every day. You have a process, you have a plan in place and you just focus on that and you forget about the past and you forget about the future as well and forget about your goal, right? That's how you're going to have a lasting motivation. Another thing that's really important is progress. So after a process, it's progress. It's making sure that you are progressing, making sure that you are learning, right? Because if you're not making progress and you're always stuck, constantly stuck, and you're not learning the concepts, again, you're going to start losing motivation, right? 
time block is when you block out time right for in your schedule for when you'll be studying every day and you try to not change that time so you know Christelle what you could do is like every day after work maybe you hit the gym just for 30 minutes you don't even need to go to the gym you can just do some exercises at home just to you know to transition from work to studying right you need to switch your mind now um and then you dive in you start studying maybe at like seven to like nine every single day you show up you study seven to nine nothing will change that right and so that's how you start building those habits that's the first thing you got you guys can do the second thing is a to-do list right it's important to create a to-do list make sure it's specific make sure it's realistic write down exactly what you're gonna cover the next day don't do it the day of or when you're about to study right because when you're about to study when you show up at that seven you want to be ready to go right so that's how you're going to be more efficient you know exactly what you're going to study you know exactly what material to use you dive in you start studying and you're going to be efficient right and you just and then after that it's just about learning and then showing up and doing the best you can don't forget don't focus on the questions you're going to get wrong it's, it's not a good uh, mindset to have guys you're not there to score every single question you're not there to get a perfect score you're there to pass your fe so you focus on the easy questions first get as many e questions as you can first and then you do the medium ones or the long ones and then you do the, th the difficult ones and I've, I've interviewed so many of our students the last couple weeks and i'll share that with you guys um on our channel but a lot of them like I remember Sammy, I just interviewed him last week. He said that he did the, the easy problems first. And then after that, he had uh, 20 questions left and 10 of them where it's like they were just long and medium and he was able to do that. And then and he filled his FE exam, I think, five times. And and it was incredible because he said when he finished, when he did those, those first 35 questions that were easy, it gave him a boost of confidence. Like, I got this. I just got 35 questions. I still have a whole hour to cover the other 15 or 20 questions. Like, I got this, right? So that's the mindset that you guys need to go into. Um, yes, you will have questions where you're going to pause and be like, oh my God, I've never seen this before. But don't spiral. Don't focus on that. Move on. Flag it. Don't waste your time. Go to the questions you already know. Come back to it and do the best you can later, okay? So that's my advice for all of you guys. Very important to keep these points in mind. Consistency is making sure to know when to stop with, like, and listening to your body. So when you listen to your body and your body is telling you like, we're tired, we need to take a break and you ignore it and you keep going, you're going to start easily to lose motivation and you're not going to be consistent anymore because you just you're just tired and you burn out and you're not recharging and you're not listening to your body. So I think that's really helpful if you guys want to stay consistent. It's about having that um the that whole healthy balance, right? You can't just be working and studying. You can't do that. I mean, you can if you want to, but you'll be miserable. You're going to be burned out the whole time. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to be enjoying the process. And that's not the way to do it, right? You're going to pass no matter what. So might as well do it in a good, healthy way where you're learning and enjoying the process. This is part of your career, right? This is not just like, I just want to get it done over with so I can move on with my life. This is everything that you're learning right now. You're going to apply in your career. You're going to apply at your job. You're going to feel confident at your work. The more you learn, the more you grasp the concepts, the better for you and your career, right? So first, acknowledge that. Then you have to make sure that you are, you know, taking time to recharge, to rest. Don't underestimate those things. Those th like recharging, sleeping for long hours or enough hours, spending time with family, laughing, you know, going in an adventure, going for a hike. For those of you guys who are in California, beautiful mountains. Um, that I think that's the thing that I miss most about California, right? Go to the beach. If you're at, near the beach, go for a run, take your family, go for a walk. Go do something fun and forget about the FE, right? You can't just completely pause your life and just like work and study. You are going to burn yourself out. You're not going to be consistent and you're not going to want to keep doing this, right? And nobody will, right? It's normal. So it's very important that you, when you are studying, you're studying. When you're not studying, 
Just don't think about the FE, right? Just go have fun with your family. Do something fun. And that's what's going to help you guys to stay consistent, to stay motivated, and to keep showing up. And of course, along with like making sure you're learning, making progress, all that good stuff that we talked about yesterday. Oh, yeah. Everybody now.